Hi guys, Peter Finch here. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that like button and comment below on everything you see in today's video. And today we are doing a half set challenge. So what I've done here is I've picked six clubs from my bag and we're going to be going around six holes here at Withington, just seeing how you can adapt your game if you are looking to buy a half set rather than a full set. Every now and again, every now and again, I think I could be a decent golfer. Just occasionally, like one out of 20 times. So the clubs I've got with me, I've got my driver, I've got my three driving iron, I've got my six iron, my eight iron, my 54 degree wedge, and I've got my putter. And that should be enough to see me through these six holes. And I think I should be able to adapt my game enough for these clubs to see me through most situations. So, A time, first hole's 140 yards, so I'm gonna to have to adapt this a little bit. All I'm gonna do, put the ball a little bit back in my stance, shorten down my swing length to three quarters, and just try and hit it up to the green. So there's a slight elevation, so this should help me control the distance just that little bit more. I know if I leave myself below the pin on this green as well, I've got a better chance of holding the putt. it a bit. Cut in. Oh no. Just pitched the wrong side of the green and there's a bank. So not a good tee shot there at all. I went left of the green, pulled it so it's slightly long and now I've got a horrendous chip. Now this will normally be a 60 degree lob wedge but what it's going to force me to do is play this shot differently. Land it short into the bank and then try and bump it up down to the pin but after that tee shot, this is tricky. This is a tough shot. This is going to take a fair bit of touch here. Oh, I missed the bank. I missed the bank. Right, not a great tee shot. Not a great chip. Missed my landing point. And it's left me with this very, 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 very difficult put uh, coming up the green and around to the left hand side. I mean, this is a, definitely a one in 50 type of putt, but it would be lovely to see a long range one drop. Oh, the long one in a while, actually. Oh, pacey, too pacey. Yeah, bogey, disappointing start, but two really bad shots. It doesn't matter uh, how many clubs you got in your bag. <laughs> in shots like that, it don't matter. Disappointing first hole, but another birdie opportunity straight away here at the second. I've got my driver, it's 390 yards, and I just need to basically pound it straight down the middle of the fairway and give myself that 54 degree wedge. So we just hit a long chip and run, or if I fancy it, trying to stop it on the green as well, but it's got to be a good drive. That'll do, that'll do. Back in the game. Okay, so I've got about 70 yards here. Now that is not a natural shot for me to hit with my 54 degree wedge, so I'm gonna to have to adapt it slightly. So I'm gonna add a little bit of loft and swing about a half swing. So I'm gonna try and adapt this 54 degree into something more like a 58 degree wedge. So I'm gonna set myself slightly open, set the club face slightly open, and just try and add a little bit of loft. Oh, go on, be on it. That'll do. I think I might play that shot a bit more often, I think. Oh, okay, birdie time. Uh, nothing really much to adapt with me putting, apart from hopefully just hole it. Um, it's going to be slightly right to left. Just, just inside right. Come on, could do with a birdie here, young man. Make up for the atrocity of that first hole. Oh no, it was straight. It was a straight putt. 
Oh, there's a misread. That's disappointing. That's disappointing. Easiest of pars, but really. Okay, third hole here is just a straight bombing drive. Again, no real difference made here. The only thing I'm going to do is slightly curve it off to the right-hand side. That's the shape of the hole. But that's nothing to do with a half set. That's just do with course management in general. In general. Okay, let's give it a poundy schmoundy. Oh, I've ripped that. I have absolutely smoked that. Go on, fly, fly, fly. Oh, no, go right. Camera in my face. <laughs> I think it's in the left semi, I think. So yeah, I just came into the left semi a little bit disappointed because it is only just, just off the fairway and the light isn't great. So I don't really know how it's going to come flying out. I'm probably about 80 yards, but what I'm actually going to do is use my A time to play an extended chip and run. Again, just trying to use different shots, just trying to use my imagination a little bit more. Settle a little bit. So I've just come running through. It was a decent shot, actually. I pitched it where I wanted to. It just seemed to shoot quite a lot, very little spin. So now what I'm going to do is hit just a chip and run. Uh, just with my 54 degree wedge again, and then hopefully, hopefully just tap it in for a par. Although it would be lovely if I chipped in, actually. Go. Oh, that's a good line as well. So 162 yards, and I'm going to be using a six iron. Now, because of the way that the wind is blowing, I'm going to have to take quite a lot off this, hit a bit of a fade in there, just trying to remove some of the distance. Again, it's going to force me to try and picture the shot, what I'm trying to do, rather than just standing up there, hitting a shot straight at it. Okay, longish birdie put right to left across the green. Uh, flag is, the hole's actually quite hard to see, so, we have Carly, Glamour's assistant, actually uh, holding the flag. She's doing a fantastic job. You ready? Okay. <laughs> oh, that didn't break at all. It was like straight as an arrow. Hmm, only a couple of holes to go, and I want to get, try and get back to level if possible. Needs to be making a better attempt at those puts. Right, still one over. Urgh. Par five, fifth hole, and this just a driver as far down there as I can. And I've got the ammunition in my bag with that driving iron to get home in two, if I can get the decent drive away. So it's all about the drive here. If not, it's a layup and another 54. 200 yards to go, well, just over 200 yards. And Normally with my three driving iron, I'm looking at about 220. Now it's into wind slightly, but it's not exactly smashing into wind. So I'm gonna to have to take some off this. Also, we have trees on the left, which is really stopping me from fading it. So it's gonna to have to be a draw. So I'm looking at a three quarter length swing, trying to draw it round, get it to the front of the green, and then let it kick onto the flag. And doesn't that all sound like a brilliant plan? Let's see if I can actually uh, do it, eh? Oh, be the number. Oh, I've got the line. You nodded it though. Oh, Pete. I mean, it's fine. It's fine, but such a good line. So it's a 290 yard par four, but I'm taking a six line off the tee. Now it kind of dog legs quite a lot off to the right hand side, but I know if I hit my usual distance with this, so about 185, then that's going to leave me that lovely 95 yard range where I can hit a rather full, a rather full, one very odd way of phrasing it. You can tell it's quite late in the day, 54 degree wedge. And that should allow me to get some spin up onto this green. 
It's okay, but that's not going to leave me my 54 degree wedge because the whole dog leg so much off to the right hand side, that's going to be more of a full shot. Course management, all the good intentions, just not quite the result. <laughs> now, the other thing to consider if you are looking at a half set versus a full set is cost, because at the end of the day, if you're paying for half as many clubs, it should cost half as much money. That logic seems to be safe. Um, unless you're going for a really, really expensive iron tail, like a Callaway Epic or something along that, PXG, something along that type of vein. But if you do spend that little bit less money, get yourself a half set, especially to begin with if you're new to golf, it can make you more creative in the shots that you're playing. And you might actually find, depending on your level, your ability level, your handicap level, you might not even need a full set of clubs. I mean, my dad, especially during the winter months, uses what? seven clubs all the way around he's perfectly happy with that so don't feel that you need to get that full set take half a set out and experiment first so not the shot that i wanted off the tee but it's left me again with a chance to experiment so i'm just over 100 yards the pin is towards the back of the green as well so i'm going to be using my a time trying to land it around the front and then let it release up the green the green is very much slanted back to front so it gives me the opportunity to kill it with that slope I hope, because if it goes over the back, it's not an easy up and down. Oh, horrible, horrible bounce, that is. Like, how? How is that? That's pitched bang in line with the flag, and it's finished about 10 yards left of the green. It's okay, though. It's all about learning. It's all learning experience, isn't it? So not ideal, it's left me short-sided and I'm hitting up onto the green, it's gonna slope down to the right. Again, ideally it would be my 60 degree lob wedge, but it's just gonna allow me to open up the club face here, try and get a little bit more loft, try and test my feel out as well. So again, it's always testing, it's always trying these new things. Okie dokie, come on, let's just tap it in. Tap it in. Tap it in. Right guys, level par for those six holes. Enjoyed that immensely. Enjoyed the challenge of actually mixing up those shots as well. And as mentioned, if you haven't given this a go before, given this a go before, should I say, please do because it's going to be worthwhile. It's going to test your skill level at playing different shots. And you never know, you might find that that is a better approach to golf than you otherwise would have taken if you had a full set of clubs. And as always, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Comment below on everything that you've seen today as well. Follow me on my other social media platforms as well, which are all linked in the description below. And we'll see you down here next time.